Okay, that should be us live. I'm just gonna check my feed. Make sure we are good to go. Uh, looks like everything's up and running. Yeah, I got my checklist over on over on my phone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I have a very short stream today um, because I am heading on vacation, as the title might say. And uh, I wanted to get one more in because it's going to be like two weeks. And I just wanted to grab in one more stream before I'm basically not available for two weeks. Uh, and I thought it would be fun to do the game that I'm currently doing, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, rather than continue the main Elden Ring run, because uh, I don't think I'd get very much done in an hour. And it'd be nice to have some better, uh, a better run at things. So I thought I would do Dungeons of Hinderberg, which I'm playing right now. And I'm actually doing this... Uh, the reason uh, I'm in here, I have a kind of challenge to do uh, achievement every day because I am doing the Microsoft Rewards where you get points for stuff that you can eventually turn into a gift card and money. Um, so right now, if I go and look, I mean, I have enough already for like a $10 gift card, but um, uh, as you can see, I have already, I have played my Game Pass game today and there is my, my points. And oh, and I just claimed the weekly as well. I just claimed one of the weekly for doing three daily quests as well. That's nice to see. And I think I just claimed the monthly as well. Let me just go down here. Yeah, I just claimed one of the monthlies as well. I'm a little bit off getting the 1,000, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, bear with me one moment. I'm going to hit do not disturb. And um. Yeah, so I just got the monthly there. What we're trying to do is just get an achievement in a Game Pass game. Woo, hey Danny. Um, I'm just going through uh, what I'm explaining right now is, um, yeah, the stuff that I'm trying to get. So I'm trying to get an achievement in a game because basically this is Microsoft Rewards that you're seeing right here. You can do things in games and it will give you points and you can turn those points into gift cards. I already have enough. I have 14,000 points right there in the middle. I've already got enough for a $10 gift card. Um, but I just, you know, you just keep going with the points as much as you can, and the more you go, the more points you get. Uh, and I'm working towards this monthly goal down the bottom here, which is a thousand points, um, which is essentially a dollar, I guess, is what that translates into. Um, awesome pizza, mm, sounds good. I still have to decide what I'm going to eat before I get on the plane later. Um, I have not decided what I'm going to have yet. Um, might have some ramen. We'll see. Uh, I do have that in the house. Um, but yeah, so I need to get an achievement in a Game Pass game uh, is what I need to do today before I head off. Uh, so I'm playing a different game to usual, Dungeons of Hindenburg, because I've kind of been playing it the last few days. I have to get a uh, an achievement in a Game Pass game, and this is a Game Pass game. I've been playing it for free with Game Pass. It's been uh, a lot of fun. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's kind of a funky little puzzle action adventure game. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head in. Um, uh, Danny, I know you love to hear kind of what the story is. The story of this world is kind of cool. We're in a small town of Hinterberg in, uh, in Austria. Hey, Ken! Hinterberg like the blimp. Uh, maybe? I'm not sure. So it's a small town. <coughs> it's a small town in Austria. And it's basically been uh, invaded by magic. Oh, Donny, hey, what up? Uh, I, I miss Donny, because you're both... Danny and Donny are like purple and purple, but two slightly different shades of purple. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, small town in Hinterberg that's basically like invaded by magic. And the local government have basically said, hey, we're going to make an attraction out of this. So it's basically become big theme park for you to go and do dungeons so these there's these portals here that you can go inside that have dungeons this is a level one dungeon and then you have like a stamp book uh let me see for all the dungeons that you can do so this is all the dungeons in the game oh cool no way donnie that's pretty cool um these are all the dungeons that you can do in the game and you can see they're increasing in difficulty the whole way along and they're in different places as well 
Um, the fireworks, <laughs> fireballs are scary. Good place to go. Good place to uh, to go on holiday. Um, <laughs> this time it's going very well. They're making a lot of money out of this, I believe. I I feel like it's leading up. The the main story is leading up to some kind of conspiracy about the uh, the the mayor using it for more than what it is. But anyway, we're gonna go into this. We're gonna hop into this dungeon anyway and start going through. So the dungeons are kind of like, I guess like little puzzle rooms oh yeah you can see here down in the right uh i don't know if i'm blocking it i'm potentially blocking it and i can't see uh i am blocking it it says time will advance behind my face uh, enter dungeon time will advance so if i hit stay here you can see up in the top right corner it says uh day seven noon so there's an interesting kind of day night cycle and um, that goes through um that it yeah that it can kind of rotate through and uh you've got I think it's morning, noon, evening, and night. Uh, and you can only do a limited amount of activities at each time. Uh, and you can basically do one dungeon per day, but then there's like NPCs that you can like interact with. So if I go to the log book and look at the people, here's all the people that I can meet and chat with. And for becoming like friends with them, so you can see there Klaus, I'm buddies with Klaus and being buddies means I have his level two perk. Um, so you get like perks and upgrades from like meeting the people, um, and it's just kind of a fun way of kind of getting kind of story and side quests, I guess. It's kind of cool. It's a neat little game. I'm I'm enjoying it way more than I was expecting it to. Like every time I put it down, I want to just keep playing. Um, the combat is pretty basic, but it's 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 fun and entertaining, um, and the puzzles are simple, I would say, but also kind of fun. Um, it gives me kind of, uh, I actually just did one earlier called, uh, Glacier Galaxy, and it literally did the whole Super Mario Galaxy thing where you, like, walk around the globe in it, and I was like, oh, this is cool. So there's definitely, like, inspiration from, uh, like, Nintendo games, um, and that kind of stuff. Um, so this is, like, some of the puzzle aspects here. Obviously, this is really easy, but it's like I have to pull the bridge across with my magic ability. Um... See, I just want to make sure I don't miss any items, because you also have to collect. There's a collectible in each mission called commemorative coin. Mm, okay, so you can see here that's like part of the mechanic of these goo things. Is like when you grab it, uh, those ones go in. I don't know if I can pull one of those out again. I don't really want to, but um, that's, so that's going to be kind of this mechanic, I guess, in this in this dungeon that I'm going to be working with. Yeah, so here we go. So like now I've blocked the way. So I've got to grab this and change them all around. And I think I should be able to hop over this, can I? Yeah, I can. Uh, again, I just don't want to miss any items or areas. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's got a little bit of those Rayman vibes. Yeah, actually, it's got a it's got a little bit of Rayman vibes. It's kind of it. It feels like a lot of things kind of together in one. It reminds me a lot of different games that I really like. Um, and I've really enjoyed the art style as well. Okay, so I want to go up there. I also want to get in there. Oh, I also want to go... Oh, I definitely want to go up there. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I can reach this. Oh, I can't. Right. Mm, I can't reach that. Oh, I can just pull that one down. Never mind. Sometimes the camera can be a little bit awkward. It's usually fun, but sometimes it's just a tad awkward. Um, so HB is, uh, I think they call them hinter books. It's like, um, it does have a neat art style. Yeah, it really does. It's it's quite cool. It's like this, it's almost like, I don't know if you can see it here. It's better in the open vistas, but it's almost like comic booky. sometimes. It's got the little like black dots that I kind of feel like are from like comic books. Um, oh, some new pants. Uh, you do have armor. Your visual appearance doesn't seem to change, but you do have different armor. Uh, so these are all the things you have. You've got like, gear, which is your sword, and then your armor, which you've got three pieces. Uh, and I've already forgotten what I just got. I think I got the resonant body part, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Four, eight, two. 
I don't really know what the upgrades part is yet. Um, that reminds me of how to tell. Uh, Telltale Games or that. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you got attack conduits, which you can choose what you have. It's like your, it's essentially your weapon art from Elden Ring. Um, you don't have different weapons in this game. All the swords hit in the exact same way. It is a small indie game, so it's like not that big. But you can choose between two different weapon arts that you have. Uh, you can actually get three, but I have to unlock it. Uh, and then you have charms, but the charms work on like you've got nine slots, and then different charms. Uh, cost a certain amount of slots and you got to slot them in it's like something that i saw recently in alien fireteam elite um, where you had to like slot your perks in with a certain amount so you can kind of work out oh okay i want these three i want this one so that's kind of cool um potions as well so you can choose like what healing items you have you don't have a permanent healing item if that makes sense not like in like dark souls or elden ring or any of those kind of games where you like uh, every time you like refresh or finish an area or something you get your potions back these you have to like purchase in the store with uh hinter books um and then other is just like items that you pick along the way that are like uh, uh for quests and side quests and stuff like that anyway uh these blobs up here are for getting health and thing back so um if you see my health up in the top left corner right now it's actually like part of it is grayed out and that's actually because i am um, can I push it in? Can I push it? Uh oh. I'm trying to blow that up on the inside. No, no. Okay. Oh, I need to roll it down the hill. That's why. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's what we want. And that should break it. Um, the My health is actually not at full right now. There's like a bit of it grayed off. And that is because I uh, t chose the option the night before to... Um, uh, when you when you go to sleep each night, you kind of have an option of what you can do, and you can either just go straight to sleep and that just you wake up and everything is good, or you can like watch TV or read a book, and if you do that, you wake up with 25% less health for the next day. We just got ambushed. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm a little bit over leveled for these guys, so I'm kind of shredding through them here. Um, but basically, anytime you get attacked by enemies, you get locked into a little zone, so you can't leave. Um, okay, this looks like I'm going to get attacked here as well, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. No, maybe not. Okay, it's a puzzle. Um, I was saying about... Oh yeah, the sleeping. So, uh, there's an achievement for completing a dungeon while you're tired. And tired is when you have 25% less health. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I'm on an easy dungeon. Um, so I'm kind of getting... I'm actually getting a few achievements in one. Uh, that I wasn't really planning on doing. Hmm, okay, let's see. Where am I meant to go here? I'm going to jump across here. Okay, I'm going to go there first, I think. So we got a little bit of platforming. The jump is the only thing in this game that I'm like, mm, it doesn't uh, work quite the way. <laughs> I'm tired too. Um, I'm a little bit tired too, as I got back kind of late last night. Um... And then I woke up kind of early because I've a lot. I've been like packing and uh, getting ready to fly later today. Um, oh, I did not want to jump down there. Uh, well, we've done it now. Let me just see what grabbing these blocks is going to change. Whoa! Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Huh. Okay. Let's bring it back down for now. And then go around this way. Oh, I need to kick that ladder down. How do I get up there? Okay, I'll figure that out. We're going to do this first. So we're going to go across here. And we're going to go up here. And then I'm going to send it up. Although I don't know if that's going to be useful. Yeah, I don't think that's very useful, because I'm still kind of stuck here. Hmm. Problem is that block is in my way. Unless I can climb it, actually. I haven't tried. I don't kind of know what ability I have to climb things. 
I'm assuming this is just blocking my way. Yeah, it is. And I need it to be in. Uh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Here we go. We're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. Ah. I'm not at the right angle to yank it fully. There we go. Oh! Hmm. Maybe while it's going up, I need to jump and attach. I've never had to do anything like that before. That seems a bit... Hmm. I guess so. Okay, I've never eaten the snack before, which is the one on the right. Down the, if you look at the bottom left, it's my B. If I hold left trigger and then press B, I'm going to eat a snack. Okay, that was only a tiny bit of health. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was going to kind of going to be rubbish. Um, okay, I'm going to try that again. Uh, this way. Up and around. Run and jump. Okay, and then as soon as I do it, I need to turn around and like grab on. It's going to have to be kind of fast. Oh! Okay. It did work. Although I'm kind of bugged. Oh. Oh, I may have bugged it. Pizza ready. The real snacks for the friends we made along the way. I may have bugged the game. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't. Oh no, I don't want to stop using... Oh, I keep using my health potions by accident. Yeah, we are bugged. I can't move. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got through it. There we go. We're all good. I wonder if that's not what you're meant to do. <laughs> Considering that was kind of buggy. Okay. That's the first kind of like full-on proper bug that I've had. I guess we're going to do this and pull ourselves down. Oh, there's like way more to explore here, though. I can't see. There we go. See, that's going on to a whole new area. So that purple thing down there is a checkpoint. Which means I'm missing... Oh, I can't. Like, this is a terrible view. What are you doing to me, game? I can't push that back in, can I? I cannot. Oh, I wonder if I can, like, stand on that now. Ah, uh, I can go into it. It's not what I want. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to save the game here, so that if the game bugs out again like that, I can just come back to like right here and I don't have to restart the dungeon. Um, like is that a later part, or do I keep going this way? It feels like that's a completely... Oh no, that's the end. Oh dear, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, 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 fire. Okay, that did my counter, it's okay, and I can lock on, and then we're gonna do this ability, which kind of jumps a little bit too far, but anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got. So he has like a magic health that I have to try and get rid of, um, which you can do by using magic abilities. Now you play with the camera. Yeah, it does. Uh, I can lock on or I can like look around myself. Yeah. Oh, he still hit me. Okay. Grab that. Okay, cool. There we go. And let's see. What's going on here? Assume that means that gets retracted. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this looks like it might go around to... Maybe not. I don't know, maybe it'll go around to the other spot. Ah, a locked chest. I still don't know how to get into locked chests. It says maybe someone in Hinterberg knows how to open these. Um, 
I've not figured out who yet, though. What? Is this... Wait, are they just spinning? What does this one do? Oh, it spins that one. Oh dear. Okay, right. So this is all about figuring out the path that I need to take here. Oh, and that's going to activate them all. Oh, so I need to figure out when I want them to rotate near each other. I can jump that, probably. Let's try. I've done everything over there. I think I have. Ah, but I can't jump that. But I will go over here. And grab these items. Okay. So I think I need to set these two up at the end better. That's fine. So just mess with the end one, I think. Okay. Which was the end one? Oh, no, the end one. Oh, okay. Have a good stream. Thanks, Ken. Have a good time. We'll talk to you later. Oh, but I've got to get that one in sync with that one. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. I've got to basically get all three of them to converge in the middle. Is what I've got to do here. Oh, I think I'm messing these up even more. Oh no, I think we're almost there actually. Oh wait, there's buttons up there? I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I should have paid more attention. So those two are now crossing. Those two aren't going to cross. Stop the last one pointed at the second last, then stop. Say what now? I think I probably just rotated the first one a bit wrong. Yeah, maybe if I do this. No, that's the same thing I had at the start. Stop the stop when you're last. Oh yeah, I might be able to jump that. I see what you're saying. And make the last stop until you stop. I'll stop it, Tiny. I'll stop it. I can just climb this. Oh, I wonder, can I jump this? I cannot. Hmm. Oh no, but I need that to be over there. Hold it. I don't think I can make that jump. Well, that doesn't help. Hmm. 
Let's try and do a run jump on this one here. Nope. <laughs> I wish. I wish we could. they go in when that happens. Let's see, let's see. No, okay, I need to go back and change them. Can we not? <laughs> I like it. Oh, I can't just jump around this way. I've got to use this to get back. Okay. I am, like, almost there. I just need to figure out how to... allow myself to get across that one at the same time as also getting across that one. That might just be enough. No, it's not. No, it's almost in the same rotation as the other one. No, that's not going to work either. Maybe. If the last one... Which is the last one? Oh, the one at the very end. Yeah, of course. If the last one points at the second last... You can just adjust the other two freely. Oh no, but I can't adjust the other two freely because these two are linked. The first and the last are linked. They're on the same rotation. I can't only adjust the first one. Is the problem. That's why I'm just adjusting the second one. Because it's the only one that moves on its own. Let's try that actually. No. I just need to play with it. A little bit slower, basically. I'm like almost there. One, two. One, two. It needs a bit more than that. Three. No, because then it's gonna miss that. Oh no! It, they should. They should intersect. Okay, let's see. Ah, this is look no 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 just a little bit too late for that. I'm wondering if I'm meant to be using all available space here. No, they just miss each other. So I need a little bit more. I need a teeny bit more. Three, two, one. It looks like they do. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, that might just be enough. And then that's definitely going to be enough. Okay, right, let's try this this time. I think we've got it. I think we got it. Oh, no, no, what? No, no. <laughs> just randomly jumped me. It just jumped me. That was a bit of concentrating there. I was like, mm, what am I doing here? Okay. 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 Here we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. We got it. There we go. And now I just wait. We got it. 
<laughs> Took a little bit of time, but we got it. There we go. That took probably longer than it was supposed to. But anyway, we're done that now. And uh, now we are... Ooh, what was that? Cobweb. <laughs> now we are over here. The power of friendship. What? Is this... I don't think I can destroy that. Let's see. I cannot. No. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We've opened that up to get up here. Which is great and all. But... I don't want to exit the dungeon yet. Because I've missed... Ooh, a charm. A charm... I don't know which is better, percentage or raw number. Like, if I look at this. Oh, okay. Uh, 4%. Mm, okay, they're pretty similar. Can we not? Okay, we're going to do this again. I'm going to set the waypoint. And we're going to save. Now that we've uh, opened the way to the end. But the problem now is, how do I get up there? Okay, that one I can't do anything with. I like this. I'll take it. I can't jump through it. I can jump into it, but I can't jump through it. Okay, we're going to hop down. So I need to try and understand how I'm getting up there. Uh, yes, Tiramisu. Always yes. You have a yes vote for me. that comes out but how do I reach that that's the question and what is this block what's going on here and why does it never move oh, it does it moves like that how do I use that to my advantage oh I feel oh this is ah oh, this is genius oh I love this Oh, I love this. Oh, no, I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, hold it. Oh, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Okay, drop that there. And then here. And then that. And then grab. And then... Oh, it just breaks it by hitting it. Yes! That means we have the ladder. Okay, so it was way less complicated than I thought it was going to be. Voting is close to the end. <laughs> Did my vote get in in time? Or did I just uh, lose my democratic right in your voting system? There we go. We got the coin. And some healing up here that we didn't need. Wow, there was like no monsters in this level. There was like two that I had to fight. Ah, uh, and now I can just run and jump across this. This is so much easier. This is the way you're meant to go. Not what I did. I think that's why it glitched. I think that's why it glitched. I am king. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Th this is why it glitched. I was not supposed to do what I did earlier. It's because you're meant to come up this way. And then you do the run and jump across. Like that. And then you go up to the top. Nice. I get to keep my vote. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased, King Danny. And then we do this. And then... Oh, I can't just jump down. I gotta... Down. Down. Drop. Okay, there we go. We finished the dungeon. Uh, so, yeah, before you finish the dungeon, you've got to hit your complete stat. You could just exit, but you want to do that. There's my achievement. Beginner Slayer. Complete five dungeons. And you get your little stamp in your book, so you know which dungeons you've done. 
which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, and there's another achievement as well, which is probably running on fumes. It is. Finish the dungeon while tired. There we go. We did it. Awesome sauce. Um. Put the done in dungeon. Oh yeah. And leaf. So now it'll move. We were in afternoon, so now it's gonna move to evening. Afternoon. Evening. And this is the town. We, so we go back to the town in the evening. Bahnhof. Oh. I am. Oh, I know what this is. To acquire the materials we need. Go on, I know exactly what she's gonna say. Magical elements. I have loads of these magical elements. I have loads of these. I need the elements, and actually a lot of them, thank you. Uh, the elements of practical and I can oh shrink your charms. I've heard about this. Okay. Whoa, that's gonna be useful. Okay, yeah, I do want to go talk to her right now. <laughs> oh wait, no, shrinking a charm is an achievement though. I think. I need to see how much it's gonna cost though. So where is she? Scientist there. Is she just right here? I have hundreds of them. Yeah, as you can see, I have 117. <laughs> I can shrink my own charms. Thank you very much. So 117, 37, 35, and 15. Okay, and you need 17 in the last one to kind of make a double, a double shrink. Okay, so I won't be able to shrink anything to one just yet. I also need to find out a good one to shrink. But let me check. I think there's an achievement for this, and if there is, I want to hold it off for another day. Shrink a charm. Ah, to one slot. So I'm not going to be able to do that yet anyway. Okay, so it's to one slot. Uh, if I have it, do I have a two? I have no twos, so I'm going to need 17 of those things that I... Okay, so let's shrink. Perfect slot slowdown is kind of cool, but I don't use it very often. Plus four physical attack. Plus three physical attack, plus two magic attack. It's kind of better, but that's already only one. Oh, I should already be swapping these around. Potion restoring. Plus five percent physical magical defense. Hmm. Okay, I may as well shrink physical attack boost. And then that will allow me to equip... Actually, I should already be able to equip that. Uh, inventory, inventory. Charms. 3 plus 2. Slot. Oh no, that's an achievement too, isn't it? I've just got an achievement that I could have saved for a different day. Oh dear. Oh well. It's happened now. I've done it. Uh, okay, let's shrink. Ah, that was an easy achievement. I could have left for a day when I didn't have much to do. When I didn't have loads on and don't have time. Oh well. Mm -mm. 
I know. It's all my fault. I've done it. I can't believe I've done this. Uh, okay, let's shrink down to two. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then can I add another one charm in? You voted for this, you monster. I'm a monster. Grr. Mm, that's sending against me too. Uh, oh, is there another Joker? Is there a new Joker trailer? I'm very excited for Joker 2. Folia da. I'm very excited. Very much looking forward to it. And uh, I think I'll be over here for it. Uh, which means I'll get to watch it in IMAX 70mm on one of the biggest screens in the world. Which is very exciting. Because they've actually shot it for IMAX. Which is really cool. Um, and yeah, Brendan Gleeson's in it. Which I was surprised about. But yeah, he's in it. Uh, I need to look at my notes to see what I need to set up. So just chilling. So I'm doing the scenic thing tomorrow. So I need to not sleep properly tonight. Um, and then I'm going to redo the missing coin. Uh, I saw the trailer from about four weeks ago. That might be there might be two trailers out by now. Yeah, yeah. He's a guard again. Exactly. <laughs> this time a prison guard. Love it. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I think I've seen at least one trailer. Maybe I've seen two trailers for it now. I think I've seen two trailers for it now. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical of the musical idea. Um, I think it could work really well, and visually it looks great. But I'm a little bit skeptical about it. Uh, early reactions have been kind of good for it, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh... Okay, I should start the dog quest is what I should do. Do you mean with the film overall in general or with the music? Like how psychological they go with the music. I'm assuming you mean with the film in general. Yeah, I mean I really liked the last one. Did you like the last one? Palace. Music in the mind. Oh, I get you. Okay, yeah, I get you. Did you like the last one? Like, are you going in with some uh, expectations already based on the last one? Uh, we're going to talk to Doggo here. Because he's going to give us a quest. Loved it. Okay, cool, cool. Home. Yeah, so you're going in with similar expectations to me, I guess. Like, a little bit skeptical, maybe, but excited. Because last one was great. Uh, Dog on the road. Approach the dog, hold out your hands for him to sniff. Sniff. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely a little bit skeptical about things from this one. Like, visually, it looks amazing, and um, I actually have come to really, really like Lady Gaga as an actress. I think she's really good. Uh, I just saw the newest Star is Born kind of recently, a couple months ago for the first time, um, and was, yeah, amazed at that and really liked it. And I absolutely loved her in House of Gucci, the really Scott movie from a couple of years ago. Uh, hey, want to be friends? Guess not. Don't take it personally. This one's a big fat coward. Aw, woof. Good boy. Goof chicken. Okay, I need to get him strawberries. That's perfect. So now I know I have that side quest active. Or could be what Iron Man was to the MCU. Uh, last one was perfect standalone. Could be what Iron Man was to the MCU. Are you saying he could be... Joker could be to the DCU? I don't... I, I, don't, I feel like it's standalone. I don't think they're connecting it with the DC EU. No, what's the new DCU called? <laughs> DCCU? I, I don't know what the new cinematic universe is called. 
Uh, right, okay, who do I actually want to progress tonight? So this is one of the mechanics in this game that I think is really cool, is that so uh, when you come back each evening, you have like all these people that you can interact with and you can like spend the evening with them. And it's basically like you hang out with them or you talk to them about their like what they do in the place. And um, each evening you spend with someone, I think, levels up your friendship level with them. I don't know if it's just straight one evening equals one level. Um, yeah, I don't think he's part of the new DCU that James Gunn has taken over. I, I think they confirmed that every, nothing is carrying over. Um, and I had understood Joker was always going to be standalone. Um, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe they could change it uh, and swap it around. Uh, we haven't had any news on Batman yet. I, I think... I'm trying to remember if Robert Pattinson's The Batman and now the Penguin TV show that's coming soon. I think they're not part of the Extended Universe. They're part of a specific... Um, uh they're part of a specific uh batman universe i think they called it they called it something the batman something i can't remember they called it something it's its own like universe the batman the batman the penguin and the batman 2 um are part of their own little bubble i think is what it said is what they said um Okay, I need to see. Ah, unlock locked chests. So I need to unlock locked chests, treasure chests. So I need to speak to Thea, because I feel like I'm missing things. Or Thea. Uh, is she around? So not everyone is around in the evening. Uh, that's true. Anything could happen with Toby being there. But um, I'm definitely a lot more skeptical on it happening. Um, okay, Thea is over there. I want to go speak to her. Because I want to get the ability to unlock chests. But that man. Mm, these two are people together? What's going on here? Oh, what? Ooh, they doing some magic checkers? Uh, knots and crosses? Love it. X's and O's. Let's go. B4. Oh, they're doing Battleship even better. Like you're having fun? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's another thing. Because of all the magic, there's no cell phone reception up here. So it's kind of like a like a holiday away or like a vacation away where you like don't you like detach and you just go and fight monsters. Oh, these are local kids. Hearing their stories could increase my familiarity. Yes, spend time. with all the uh, with all the regular heroes but the backstory mirroring the Spider-Man one oh yes yeah yeah that was pretty cool it could all come together I just I, I remember seeing stuff from James Gunn about him being very specific about what was and what wasn't in the new DCU so that people understand because he's a comic book person, so he's very much into, like, canon and what is canon and what's not canon and stuff like that. So, I know he's being kind of specific. Been <laughs> my radioactive bat. Iron Man book. I've been my radioactive iron. I like this. We're starting our own thing. It's called the SCU. Superhero Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Where everything is messed up and mixed up. Uh, do you also spoke? Uh. 
Yeah, let's go. Take some chips. Do the locals go to the dungeons? So the locals don't even go to the dungeons. They're like, nah. They're like, this is all just corporate nonsense. We're not doing that. Uh, what's it like living with the magic? Hmm, <laughs> I seem to have changed a lot. Looks like a goth Lilo. It kind of does, actually. <laughs> there is goth Lilo. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, I've seen him, Travis. He's just like everywhere. He just like steps in for like a second, says one thing, and then leaves again. And it's like, what? I should probably go talk to him soon and find out what he's about. Free their game now. Fix that dopamine. Oh, oh, I missed. Sorry. Uh, like when the cell phone reception would be awesome for teenagers. Fix that dopamine addiction. I think so. I think you're right. Teresa's is sitting out on the terrace by herself. Oh, I can choose to not bother her. You know what? If I'm gonna get a double relationship boost here, let's do it. Good evening. So she's the um. Uh, Teresa is the, uh, what's the name? She's the, uh, host of the B&B &B that I'm staying in. Also, these, the chair that she's sitting in and the one that it looks like I'm about to get into is the same chair that we sit in every single day. Yeah, there we go. I'm sitting in the chair. I get my mind off the onion festival. Yeah, there was an onion festival the last day. Oh. Back in my day. Austrian painters have changed the world quite a lot. Austrian painters. I, 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 I probably know some and their work, but I can't think of any. Oh, say hi back. Say hi back to Adalas for me. Hello. I am hope you're doing well as well. We're actually going to be finishing up soon. Just so we know. Just so you know, Danny. There's one Austrian painter. You definitely know. There probably is. I just can't think of who is Austrian. Uh, don't worry about it. I get it. Voted for mayor. Uh, which makes you guys feel welcome. Okay. Just got a little bit of a trauma dump from Teresa. That's okay. Evening, night. Now, I need to remember. I think I need to... Oh, I didn't make any new relationship. I, what? 
That didn't level up my relationship with the kiddos. Oh, that's annoying. I wanted I wanted Thea to be able to give me the ability to unlock things. So you see here, these are all like the things that you do each day. So today I got plus 20 familiarity, plus 10 renown. So you can only speak with like certain people and do certain things when you have certain levels of stuff. So there's one dude who's like a super cool dungeon hunter slayer dude. And uh, I need 80 renown to be able to talk to him. So I'm not there yet because he won't speak to me because I'm not cool and he doesn't know who I am. Uh, and then there's amusement and relaxation figures as well. Uh, and then every time you do a dungeon, you get plus five HP. And then if instead of a dungeon, you just sit at a scenic spot all afternoon, uh, you get plus 10 HP instead for like resting kind of. Uh, and that's a permanent buff to your HP, which is kind of cool. And then this is all the loot that I found. So I got the hinter books. I got the coin that we needed from the dungeon. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Open goes. And then these are all the enemies that I fought. So I fought so few. There was only like... Yeah, there was really few enemies in that dungeon, actually. I guess it's because it's an early level dungeon. And I took like way too long with the... Uh, I took way too long with the... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> the uh, the puzzle. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what I was meant to do. Three different scenic spots. There, stay up late three times. So I'm going to stay up late again. Uh, this time we're going to read the book. Last time we watched TV. This time we're going to read the book. So you see here, it will increase my familiarity, but I will be tired tomorrow and have less HP. So it's like telling me like what happens if I do it. Uh, for the first like four days i think i'm on day seven now so i think for the first like four or five days i wasn't actually allowed to stay up late it was like oh no i've only just arrived i should go to bed and get a good night's rest and it was like oh okay um and i'm only doing it for an achievement but actually i didn't know it would raise familiarity which is kind of useful here we are reading the book and then she's probably going to give a bit of a monologue as well yeah oh she's actually going to read the book out loud for us okay lovely mm, skiing destination couldn't afford to change the chairlifts or modern style. Okay. So they were going downhill, basically, is what it's looking like. Fell off. Out of favor as a winter sports destination. Yeah, so it fell out. Fell out of favor. I'm getting really sleepy. It makes sense now why when the ma when the when the uh uh when the magic came around then that everyone like well, not that everyone, but the mayor and the government capitalized on it. You gotta read it. Sorry, I should have read it out loud. I should have done a reading voice. Did the Fräulein sleep well today? Rainy night, morning bright. What? They have a they have a thing that they say here. You said slay up, Tate. Slay up, Tate. Slay, slay up late. Um, they have a thing that they say here. What is it? Have a good slay instead of have a good day. It's like, this is a few things that are like, oh, that's a bit cringe. Okay, yeah, and then in the morning each day you talk with someone random. So here it was Teresa. And they're like, oh, where do you want to go today? Which is a great question. Where do I want to go today? Oh, today I'm doing another scenic spot. So I'm going to go to... I could do the scenic spot here. So each of these worlds, so there's four worlds. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce them because I'm going to butcher them. Dober, Kogel, I'm trying, but I'm not going to. Yeah, it's not going to go. Hinterwald and Kalmstein. Uh, and I haven't unlocked the last one yet. Each of these worlds is like a different location and you get different abilities when you're at them which is kind of fun so i'm I, i'm gonna go here because all i'm doing for this day which i'm not gonna do it now i'm actually gonna do it tomorrow um which should only take me like two minutes the idea what i was doing today is i'm setting myself up so that while i'm at home in ireland over the next few days it's going to be really easy to just grab achievements like in like 30 seconds so i don't have to spend like any time gaming um but then i can still go towards my like main goal um, but yeah, so the one up here is like a glacier mountain, um, and one of the cool things about it is the ability is like a hoverboard, it's like a magic hoverboard, 
This is the mountain up here. Auto fill a password into chat. Now that would tell me it thinks you're not signed in, I think. Oh, wait, there's loads of there's items there. So yeah, so I don't have the the bomb thing and the, the chain. I have this like beam that I can fire. And then I have the hoverboard. Uh So like each area you activate a different skill shrine. Oh, enemies, hello, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do this, and then if I just back up a little bit further and do that, there we go. There we go, lovely. Simples. Now like into the chat bar. Yeah, that's that's usually where it does it if it thinks you haven't. Uh, uh, yeah, so like I get that. Um, <laughs> I get that uh, when I'm uh, trying to like sign in on a new device and I like go to chat and it like won't let me chat because it wants me to sign in, and it'll be like. It sounds kind of scammy. But I've definitely had that before. But you are signed in because you're chatting right now. So I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so that's the cool thing about this place. Is we get a snowboard. Um, that's really weird. I don't know what's going on then. Got that chest already. Okay, I'm just going to get into the scenic spot. Because I've got everything already here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So yeah, um, and you can use the hoverboard in uh, in combat. Actually, there's enemies up here, so I'm going to show you here. You can use the hoverboard in combat. It leaves a trail of fire. So you can see it left a trail of fire, and it actually sets them on fire, which is kind of cool. This is my other uh, weapon ability, weapon art. Oh, more enemies, okay. What does he do? Oh, he's got magic. He's got a magic bar. Okay, I prefer to do this to the magic guys. Oh, I just got hit. Because it's just so much faster. Because you have to take out their magic health. Three, four, there we go. There was the combo. Okay, awesome. Okay, nice and simple. Um, so yeah, so I already did the dungeon that's down there, the Glacial Galaxy. That was really cool. As I said, it was like playing Super Mario Galaxy and you're like walking around the globe. They totally stole that from Super Mario Galaxy, which in all fairness could have been stolen from somewhere else. I have no idea. Um, oh, and the gondola's open. Last time I was here, I wasn't allowed to take it because it was closed, because I hadn't done a mission yet here. And um, all the stuff up there is like really hard. Uh, let me just see. These are fast travel points on the map. Uh, I am going to actually fast travel back here because i got to sell some monster parts to these guys. And because the game is so small, you like fast travel instantaneously, which is really nice. So I'm all the way back at the start here. Uh, these guys are really funny. They're just like, the way they're dancing is just kind of funny. Basically, you give them monster parts that you can collect from killing monsters, and they'll give you money, but also bonuses as well. Uh, I'm really annoyed that there's not a select all option. But anyway, oh, Max, there is, down the bottom corner, X. Wait, hey, let me hit cancel. Let me just go sell, Max, there we go. Max, there we go. Perfect, okay. Okay, and then just because I really enjoy doing this, and I'm about to get off now anyway, but just because I really enjoy doing the snowboarding, we're going to snowboard all the way back down again. We. It's like when I f figured out that this was the thing to do, I like... I was like, what is this? This is, oh. Oh, this is just a loot guy. He basically just has loot for me, essentially. There we go, yeah, lots of, lots of uh, hinterbucks. He's like a little loot goblin. Ow. <laughs> I just took fall damage. Not that it really matters, because I'm about to do a scenic thing the next day anyway. Gotta get Max back. You saw Max. <laughs> I did. Poor Max. I'm sorry. I sold Max. Oh, wait. Don't. Oh. 
Oh, that was another monster part that I could have solved. Um, no, I'm not going to... Uh, what time is it? No, I'm not going to waste any more time. I do need to get off. Um, okay, so, yeah. So then, yeah, this is one of these scenic spots. So you can basically just, there's like a little pad here and she's probably going to sit cross-legged on it and just sit here for the afternoon. Basically just admiring the view, essentially. Um, or is it Wolfie? Uh, so that's like a really cool thing that, uh, it's not a cool thing, but that's an interesting thing this game does. So like in this afternoon, so right now we're at day eight to noon. So I'm choosing to sit at a scenic spot for the for the afternoon rather than going and doing a dungeon. And as I said earlier, I'll get plus 10 HP to my max HP for doing this, which is kind of cool, uh, as opposed to plus five for doing a dungeon. But then you don't really progress the game because you're not doing a dungeon, you're not getting more loot, you're not getting all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, I'm just doing it for an achievement because you got to rest at three different scenic spots and I've already done two so this will be my third one uh, which means tomorrow when I log on I can just literally sit here and then I'll get the achievement and then I'll be on my way so uh, yes game is being saved perfect uh, yes I want to quit the menu because we are done for today uh, and then this is what I was talking about was, so I got an achievement in that game, which was considered in a Game Pass game, uh, which was this one here, earn an achievement in Game Pass, uh, earn an achievement in a Game Pass game. And I will claim that. And then I also got play a game on console as well, which is for like 15 minutes. There you go. Um... But yeah, so here you go. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work towards the 36 dailies. So I need 16 more before the 2nd of September, which means like, even though I'm away, um, it was, yeah, I'm going to try and I've I basically, I've got a list here on my phone and I've basically tried to like set myself up for success so that I have to like play the minimum amount of time. Like I'm literally going to play like five minutes or less each day. Um, like my Xbox is still set up at home in Ireland, um, so I'll literally just be able to switch it on and, and go in and play. But I've literally like, I don't know if this is visible, but I can literally, I've literally gone in and like made a list of the things that I need to do each day so that I can be like, okay, we're going to do this one today, that one today, that one today. And today was really just about like setting them all up for the next like week while I'm away. So uh, I think I've done that pretty well. I think I've set up most of the things that I want to do. Uh, so that is it. Um... Yeah, been great to have you here, Danny. Um, uh, I will, I'm sure, chat to you offline uh, in the next two weeks, but uh, I won't be streaming for another two weeks because I'm going away for a week, and then when I come back, I have someone visiting for a week, so we probably won't be doing any streaming for a little bit, a little while, and then I'll be straight back into work as well. After all of that, I'll be actually working while the friend is visiting as well. So I'm not going to have too much time to stream, but I will try and get back on it as soon as possible. If you are watching this VOD on YouTube, I appreciate it. Also, if you uh, still want to watch some streams and you or anything that you missed, you can catch them over on YouTube or here on Twitch and the VODs. But uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me in this journey. And I will see you soon in two weeks. <laughs>